What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, which it says about 65% of you watching are new and are not subscribed, what are you doing? Make sure to subscribe to my channel. We have a great time talking about stocks, investments, stimulus checks and everything else going on. Um, so today we have some very exciting news because Joe Biden yesterday officially proposed a new multi-trillion dollar infrastructure bill. And it specifically mentions a stock that we've been talking about a lot on this channel, which is St it's STPK, Star Peak Energy Transition Corp, and their merger with STEM. So we're going to go over exactly specific details of this bill, and we're also going to go over a letter, um, a blog post from the CEO of STEM Inc., what he says about Joe Biden's infrastructure bill and how he thinks it's going to benefit the company moving forward. So this is a pretty big, a pretty big letter from the CEO, um, and we're going to go over everything you need to know. So first... On Twitter yesterday um, and this morning, STEM Powered, which is STEM Inc.'s um, official Twitter page, they came out and said, STEM Powered CEO outlines some of the key elements in President Biden's American Jobs Plan and explains what they could mean for the energy storage market. In addition to that, yesterday, they also came out, uh, applauded Joe Biden for the plan, um, what it does for clean energy, energy storage, the electric grid, and everything else with infrastructure. So... In this letter, we're first going to go over what, um, we're, before we go over this letter, I want to go over some specific details of this plan. So Biden's infrastructure bill is about a $2 trillion infrastructure economic recovery package. And the important parts of this bill that relate to Star Peak Energy Transition Corp are that it's going to inject more than $300 billion into improving drinking water infrastructure, expanding broadband access, and upgrading electric grids. So while this is just a small part of a multi-trillion dollar package, um, it is a lot of money that's going to be spent specifically benefiting STPK and STEM Inc. In this bill, what's specifically going to benefit clean energy is if you read through the bill, um, it calls to include $174 billion in spending to boost the electric vehicle market and shift away from gas-powered cars. Joe Biden, his goal is to have 500,000 electric buses, um, net zero carbon emissions, and all of these electric vehicles, all these electric buses, they're gonna need to be charged some way. They're gonna need to, you know, they're gonna put stress on the power grid. That's where STPK comes into play. Another thing is that it's gonna include $100 billion in funding to update the country's electric grid, make it more resilient to climate disasters, what like what happened in Texas, the rolling blackouts in California, things like that. And finally, it also proposes a creation of a energy efficiency and clean electricity standard, which is a mandate that would require a portion of U.S. electricity to come from zero carbon sources like wind and solar panel. And all of this directly benefits STPK and STEM Inc. And we're going to go over exactly why. So, the CEO of STEM Inc., John Carrington, he came out and explained specific details of this bill, how it's directly going to impact STPK. And right now, STPK is sitting you know, under $30 a share. So in my opinion, um, it has a lot, a lot of upside, very little downside with how much they're growing. Their revenue is growing 4x in 2021 from 2020. And so according to the CEO, John Carrington, CEO of STEM Inc., he said the proposed $100 billion investment to transform our electricity grid is significant and will provide more jobs, decarbonize the grid, drive renewables expansion, and enable grid stability. So it's too soon to know if this plan will go through, if it's going to be passed by Congress. But according to what Joe Biden, his administration has pushed for, it's very likely that if not this, we're going to see at least some a modified version of this pass. Um, that's going to benefit clean energy, z net zero carbon emissions, infrastructure, and everything along those lines. One thing that's very important, according to the CEO of John Car CEO John Carrington, one thing that's very important about this bill is that the plan that Joe Biden proposed um, it extends the clean energy tax credit for ten years, which would offer valuable stability and predictability to clean energy companies, their employees, and customers. He explains how in years past, there's been an on, on again, off again production tax credit. It's frustrated companies. They don't know exactly if the tax credit's going to be there, if it's not going to be there. And it creates some confusion, um, instability with these companies. Now that it's going to be there for 10 years, that will give a lot of stability to these companies. Specific language in the bill says... 
President Biden is proposing a 10-year extension of this clean energy tax credit and phase down of an expanded direct pay investment tax credit and production tax credit tax credit for clean energy generation and storage companies. So direct pay is exactly what it sounds like. Um, it means that an entity receives a direct immediate payment rather than like a more complicated or longer term tax credit. They receive, receive direct immediate payments. And this is very, very good for clean energy companies like STEMIC. Some implications for this investment tax credit for energy storage companies is that if you look at the language, it says clean energy generation and storage. But according to John Carrington, he explains how he thinks this is directly going to benefit stemming and energy storage companies. You see the language. It says energy generation and storage companies. He explains how a standalone um, investment tax credit would improve the economics of energy storage projects across the board, not just stemming, but all projects across the board, and would make them even more attractive to invest in than they previously were because there's more stability. They're getting this tax credit back. Previously this year, we've seen a lot of issues with energy storage, um, electric grid, putting stress on the electric grid in Texas, in California with rolling blackouts, Texas with the cold front. Um, and using this, these companies are going to be able to solve a lot of those issues. Um, and that will be very good. In states like Arizona, Connecticut, and Virginia that are already establishing new energy storage programs, a federal storage investment tax credit would solidify the launch of these programs in all of these states, therefore boosting company uh, states and businesses that may potentially do business with stemming and create more marketplaces for stemming to expand into over the next couple of years. Moving forward, there's a key thing that isn't direct, but it actually has a big impact on Startpeak. And that is in this plan, um, he goes on to continue to explain about his enthusiasm for electric vehicles by putting a price tag of $174 billion, investing in getting more electric vehicles on the road, um, building a 500,000 national EV charger network, electrifying 20% of school buses, um, and the bigger picture, just getting more electric vehicles on the road. The thing that will become widely recognized very soon is that battery, battery energy storage is the key reason for mitigating the impact of a huge influx of EVs onto the electric grid. He explains how if you're going to have thousands, tens of thousands more vehicles that are going to need to be charged on the electric grid, that's going to put a lot of strain, a lot of... Um, a lot of impact on the electric grid, which is already you know struggling, especially in California, we're seeing rolling blackouts. So now if you're gonna add hundreds of thousands more vehicles that are gonna be charging every single day onto this grid, onto the electric grid, well, that's gonna put a lot of strain. And the one way to solve this is to distribute the load um, of you know the electricity being charged by using a company like STEM Inc., their Athena technology, and distributing the energy um, based on either the electric grid, solar, or wind. So that is one way they could do it. If you're having hundreds of thousands more vehicles being charged, they're gonna need to find better ways to utilize energy to, to, to power these vehicles. They can't just rely on the electric grid because that's what's happening in California with rolling blackouts. And that's where STPK stemming comes into play because they can tell the system whether to use electricity from the grid or to use battery storage, solar panel, or wind power. That's something that's very important that will be realized down the road, he explains. And another thing is he explains in the plan, the plan announces that Joe Biden administration they intend to purchase 24 seven clean power for federal buildings, which it rightly points out will drive clean energy deployment across the market. This is pioneered by Google. Google announced last fall, 24 seven clean energy sourcing is something that they are doing. And it's only that only what some of the most forward thinking companies are doing. So by the federal government saying that federal buildings are going to be doing this, this is good news for renewable energy and energy storage. And finally, while this plan, Joe Biden's plan, is a $2 trillion package, only a small portion is spent on clean energy, um, energy storage, and things like that. But it would still represent the largest investment the federal government has made in the energy storage market to date. And it's very big news moving forward. So either way, 
Um, this is great news for STPK. I see STPK easily reaching $120 a share um, within the next couple of years, could potentially even be by the end of this year. We've seen the report from Citron Research giving it a $100 price target. I think it could go well, well higher than that. So let me know what you guys think of STPK, their merger with STEM Inc. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to get your four free stocks, each valued up to $1,600 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you.